The Citrus Bowl reaches record capacity for the 70th edition of Orlando's New Year's Day college football game. Thank you for joining us for our first newscast of 2016. I'm Lisa Bell. And I'm Ginger Gadsden. In for Matt tonight, the Florida Gators taking on the Michigan Wolverines for the Buffalo Wild Wings Citrus Bowl. Today, News 6 reporter Justin Wormuth joins us now from the Citrus Bowl. The well, last of three college football bowl games played here at the Citrus Bowl is over and done with. It was an exciting day for fans from both Michigan and Florida. Maybe Michigan a little bit more with that win as a crowd of more than 60,000 people sold this place out. It was a sea of orange and blue. Go Gators! And blue and yellow. Go blue, baby! Go blue! As a crowd of more than 60,000 fans came out to the Citrus Bowl for the matchup between Florida and Michigan. The atmosphere is just like any time Gators get together, we're going to have a good time. And we just feel sorry for the other folks. We couldn't wait to get those tickets. It was one minute they were out there and we had to have them. It was the third bowl game this college football bowl season at the newly renovated stadium, more than any other venue in the nation. The thousands and thousands of fans dumping millions of dollars into the local economy. I love the weather, but I'm loving being here just for the game and just for, I love this atmosphere. And with the large crowds comes the concern for security. Law enforcement from Orlando Police, Homeland Security, and the FBI were noticeable both outside and inside the Citrus Bowl. But fans try not to let the thought of something bad happening affect their experience. I enjoy myself, but I always keep my eyes open. It's the only prudent thing any of us can do. I think everybody's pretty cool about this stuff, you know. I mean, it's it's not a heightened thing, but it's it's fun. It's fun. I don't think anyone's going to want to ruin anything for everybody else. But it's it's a measure nowadays we got to live with. And as if the folks from the Citrus Bowl haven't been busy enough this month, there is another game tomorrow at noon. It's a high school all-star football game. It's expected to draw another 20,000 people here to the Citrus Bowl. For now, reporting outside the Citrus Bowl, Justin Mormouth, News 6.